the goal of this video is to show you how to create a XML file, which is a model file for Mojoko, and then display it using a viewer in Mojoko. For this, you need a program called Simulate for Linux Windows, or it's called a Mojoko app for Mac. You can either get this uh, software either from this link, or you can go to my playlist and you can watch the first few videos, which shows how to do this interactively. This is the place where you can download the software. You should scroll down and then download the one which is relevant to your operating system. Or you can also go to my tutorials where I show you with detailed instructions on how to do it with the three videos. Once you have downloaded the software, the Mujoko model visualizer can be opened by clicking, clicking the Mujoko app, which I'm going to do here in this video. Or if you if it's on a win, uh, Windows, then what you need to do is go to the bin folder and then double click the simulate.exe. If you're in Linux, then you go to terminal, then navigate to the bin folder and then type dot forward slash simulate. When you do these, so you will see a simulate window, which looks something like this. So the way Mujoko files are uh, seen in the simulate app is that you just drag and drop them into the simulate. What we'll do here is we will uh, take an example from the Mujoko documentation. It's this link and I'll copy it into an XML file and then load it using the simulate. So this is the simulate app, which I opened on Mac using the Mujoko app, which I downloaded and installed or dropped it in the um, applications folder. But I would say just copy this example and then paste it in a text editor or better if you have a Python editor like uh, Atom, you can do it there too. Once you do that, uh, I've already done that. The file looks something like this. And so we'll go over this file uh, here. So as I said, you should take this hello.xml and drag and drop it. And then you see this box, which is being dropped on a red plane. So the, this model is basically inside here. And so we'll go and modify this file in this video. So the way this file, or the way the models are defined is there's a Mujoko tag and there's an end tag, which tells you that the tag ends. Uh, there's a world body, which is in this case is going to be the world frame. And within the world frame, there are two bodies. One is a plane and the other is a box. Okay, so some dimensions for the plane, dimensions for the box are here. And uh, this also gives, puts a position on the box. It should be at 0, 0, 001, which means it's one, one unit along the z-axis. Okay, so let's just play with this file. First of all, what I'll do is I'll try to flip the colors of uh, the plane and the box. And that is here, RGBA. The, uh, the first three numbers are the red, green, blue tags. And then the last one is the opacity. So one means it's uh, fully opaque. So what we'll do is, since this is R, the red value will make it zero, and then change the green value to 0.9. And then here, since the green value is 0 0.9, we'll make that zero, and change the red value to 0 0.9. After you make the changes, you can see the output by just clicking on reload. So just click reload, and you see that the colors have flipped. Okay, now that we have uh, sort of played with this, let's add another box. For that, I'll just copy this and paste it. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the box above this one. So all I need to do is change the Z value to, let's say two. And then I want to also distinguish it from the other one. So I'll just change this color to uh, blue. So the third one corresponds to blue. Okay, again, go save this and then go save this and then go to here and then do reload. You can see the blue drop on the red. Now you can pan and zoom by using the mouse clicks. So again, I can reload and you feel good. Now it's really hard for me to make changes when things are falling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these things uh, not move by turning off gravity. So by default, gravity is in the Z direction and I'm going to make it um, make gravity go to zero. So for that, you need to say option gravity equals zero, 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 and end tag. And now let's load it. And so now you see that the red is on top of the, uh, sorry, the blue is in the blue box is on top of the red box and it's not falling. Well, I, I want to turn this box so that it is flat horizontal. And so there's a tag for doing that. It's basically um, 
known as Euler. And in Euler, I need to specify three numbers, the rotation over the X, rotation over the Y, and rotation over the Z. So this will basically do nothing, it will be what it is, but I want to understand how to rotate this red box so that it is flat. Now for that, it's useful to visualize where the axes are. So for that, what you can do is you can scroll down here, go to rendering, and then say frame void. If you say that, you will see that the frame is drawn. The red is the x-axis, the blue is the z-axis, and the green is the y-axis. So in this case, it's clear that I want to turn this box about 90 degrees about the y-axis, the green. So what I do is I specify 90 or the y-axis and then say real. Okay, now you can see that the box is uh, flat. If you want to change the color, what you can do is you can go here and change this. And I think light blue is, is about this. So now let's reload. Now it looks much better. Maybe I want to move it a little down, in which case all you do is move this to, let's say, 1.5 reload. So it looks much better. Now I want to simulate, uh, uh, I want to create a a uh, sphere and then drop the sphere from some height. So it falls on this blue one and the blue falls on the red and then it all falls down. So I'm going to create a sphere so that I copy this, paste it. And clearly there should be a type called sphere. And then how do you go about picking the size? Now, this is where you need to know something about the documentation of XML. So documentation is in this web link. I'll open that. This is the XML reference. Uh, some of the things I've done here are based on the reference. So for example, I set up gravity. <clears throat> if you look here, option, gravity. And then if you want to know more about it, you need to scroll down and the option. So it's actually also on the left sidebar, option, click on that, it goes to option. And then you can look at what, how gravity is defined. So normally gravity is defined in the Z direction with minus 9.81, but you can actually change this to whatever you want. That's what I did. Similarly, if you want to find uh, or understand how the body tag works, uh, go here in body, it's right here, body, world body or body. Uh, those have these uh, qualifiers. So we have name, you can name it. There's pose, which I used right here. There is a uh, uh, Euler, which I also used to rotate and so on. So uh, let's look at how do we create a sphere. Now sphere belongs to geom. So let's find where that is. So if you look at geometry, you can define these types of geometries. Here we'll define a sphere. So the sphere properties, which needs to be defined will be specified here. In this case, what you need to pass is just one parameter, which is the radius, which is written somewhere uh, here, one size parameter used. And that's the radius. So we need to only specify the radius. So all I need to do is specify one thing, so point 0.1, and then we can define it with some color. Let's call it, make this 0 0.7, 0 0.77. Okay, and then there's no real meaning for Euler. Yeah. And then we want to move it slightly up. So let's make it at uh, one point. Okay, now I'll go back to the program and then say reload. And you see the sphere is right there. Now, if I run this um, with gravity on, it will just fall and all be still. But let me move the ball slightly to the right. Now, if I move it to the right, I need to move it along the, the red uh, axis here, which is the x axis. So I just move it by small fraction, 0.2. And now let's reload. And now I think when you make it fall, it'll actually fall, everything will fall. So let's turn gravity on. And then we... Okay, now I wanted this block to fall, which you can do by moving the block slightly to the right. Let's make it uh, offset by 0.1 along the x-axis and then reload. That's better. Okay, so this is just an introduction on how to uh, play with XML files. Uh, more details will follow in the next few videos.